Hey guys, we're we're gonna be doing day two of the trial of case three. Yeah. October eighteenth, ten o'clock a.m. District Court, courtroom number twenty. <laughs> Four twenty. <laughs> oh yeah, I love how it just drops you right into court now. <laughs> the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show that the... The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at, the stu at Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence pre presented during the trial will... Well, I'll point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to the, your testimony. Mr. Wedgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. By the way, oh, in, in the anime, they keep calling him Suede Shoes. Suede Shoes? Well, that was one of them, and then Gumtree was the, the, the other one. <laughs> they could never get his name right, and now they're sticking it with Gumtree. Country. Yeah, detec Ooh. detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll oh, explain with the gu uh, guide map here. <laughs> Get a gum map. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the land of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through other action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The old dead lady that works in studios was here at 1 o'clock p.m. that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? <laughs> There's a monkey there! Past that studios are the studio. Past that are the studios! <laughs> Past the studios are the studios! <laughs> well, it's technically true. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. And here it is, Studio One. Yeah, like, we can't read that. <laughs> this is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there are only three people there. Here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And the young woman, the production assistant. Yeah, why isn't she being in here? All the production staff are in the employee area until noon. Nice. <laughs> then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady, who is also dead, got to the guard station. Now jump ahead later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Cause he's dead! No, he's asleep. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. A Yari spear? Sure. That's the case in briefs. Anyone would like to hear that again? Yes! Listen again! I think I probably remember, I think I probably remember that. <laughs> so the murder weapon was a spear? I need to show him the, the um, abridged series of this. Oh yeah, there's an abridged series. Oh gosh darn it! Later, later, later. Yeah. How medieval. <laughs> I can only think of like It's feudal, not medieval. They don't say that in Japan. You're a feudal. But <laughs> the, I'm, the only thing I could think of when he said we'd like to hear that again was a freaking owl. Samurai Spear is a court record. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the, the old bag see? <laughs> Nothing, because she's dead. <laughs> Understood. Let's call the security officer to this stand. You're going to be talking a lot this part. Y of. Yep, I'm aware of that. <laughs> we can switch off if you want with the old lady. The witness is a gun! <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Yes. Uh, oh, man. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? What the fuck? <laughs> My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Your name, please. Oh, dearie. No need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. <laughs> Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Wendy Oldbag, dearie. So just call me grandma's. Ah, oh, freaking god. No. Oh, 
Objection. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Objection. I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? No, the witness will sus- well, Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. If you get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you? You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Remove! I forgot how he- that he just like- He rarely ever cusses. Anyway. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run-through there since the morning. Well, I had- I had- I well had some errands to run that morning. <laughs> anyway, it was 1 when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from, it to, from then until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, interesting to me that... Uh, Interestingly to me, because a certain man walked by me at 2 p.m. I'm so glad this is a visual novel, or else I'd be writing down freaking times. Uh-huh. It, uh, it was Powers, that man right there, and he was uh, heading towards the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Just oh. object at everything. Oh god, yeah. On the day of the murder, guard station. Objection. <laughs> <laughs> Was You're it really you? <laughs> but you were already dead. <laughs> Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through since this. You just like object to it, and the, the only thing he does is just like slam on the table. Oh my, one motion dinner. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> a run through. A run through? They were working out on a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the, the basics figured out by noon and were used to the af and were used and were to use the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at five. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid-back hero. If there was a run-through in the morning. Why did the only why did you only go there after noon? God, that didn't... Well, let's see, I had some errands to run that morning. What errands? Getting groceries? What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know... My tapioca pudding? <laughs> Answer the question! Oh my, oh my. <laughs> You are already stupid. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers obser observing, you know. Observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I was I always watch Hammers' run-throughs. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see you steal Samurai run through too. You could get you could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until five. So you were watching there the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? Uh, of course! I am I am a professional, you know? Or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just that after seeing you were eating those donuts at the uh, guard station yesterday. I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time. Whippersnap- Snipper whapper. <laughs> Snipper whapper. Old windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? Oh, why don't you raise an objection, <laughs> Maya? So the witness was on duty through the whole afternoon, the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Objection, no it didn't! <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly to me, because a certain man walked by, walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. I think I know what to do here. Objection! Yep. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Let me get this straight old bag, or miss old bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you were talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Dot. <laughs> what exact- what is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, Defender of Neo Tokyo. 
This old bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't you and Mama teach you this any sense, honey? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Um, yeah. No. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers doesn't play... Oh, just... <laughs> <Don't laughs> <man. laughs> Mr. Powers does play the role of the, the Steel no. Samurai. Uh, let me say that again. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Oh, <laughs> I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. Hey, you were. No one in this court. No one in this court is accusing of that, Miss uh, Witness. She is worn old. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? <laughs> no, he's the old man. Does the judge even have a name? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Neither does the other judge. Uh. I think. Oh wait, yes, he does actually. <laughs> Let's get Apollo in here. I, I forget what. I'll tell you later. Of course, I have proof. There you go. Of course, I have proof. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the world, I mean the witness, please make known of all of your, all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I supposed to, how was I to know everything would be so noisy? You should have, you should be ashamed of, you should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this, this isn't any good as evidence, pal. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even give it a second look. Roof gum shoe. Wow, Miss Oldbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's let's hear your proof then. The old man, the photo. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew that's how I knew it. it was Powers. Happy? No. <laughs> hmm, so he sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Ray, you may cross his gun in the witness. She's got to be behind hiding something. I'll press until she squeals. <laughs> Use needles. It, 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 yeah, sure. <laughs> Present Nagi Hold it! <laughs> hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Present Yari Spear. Because technically it's Yari. Yuri Yari! Wow! Ah! Oh, it dunked. Trip and fall? Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. He's rolling. So. So Power sprained his ankle. I helped him. I helped make it better for him. For him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let's skip over that port, shall we? <laughs> Where, where was the assistant then? Oh, her. She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props and it was a big mess. Oh, yeah. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. And you may, and you wonder why that's the murder weapon. <laughs> His samurai spear, the murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with the, my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Updating the court record. It's broken? Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Oh, whoops. I think we've heard enough. I was wondering, I thought there was more to that, but I guess, oh well. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that's bothering me. Which is, where is the Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. Yes, it is! The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes? What kind of prosecutor is he? The best kind. And it is clear that the sa person in the Samurai Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. <laughs> hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? OBJECTION! Hold it right there. We keep talking of possibilities, but we got we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else was not caught 
on camera could have killed Mr. Pop Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Oh. Remove Edward. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, your honor. <laughs> remove doubt! <laughs> Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. God. I didn't. Yeah. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Nice testimony. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Roy, you're cross-examining the witness. 